Now, here's the interesting thing. Alone, none of those parts were any good. But together, they were really something, right? And I guess the point I'm making, if I can get like just a little corny here right now, it's sort of like we all have these gifts, don't we? And alone, maybe they're not that good. Maybe you don't even think they're that good. But when you put them together, you have like a symphony, right? So it's like we should never take for granted what we have, what we've been given. Now the unifying thing was the day I came in with this. And I had this, this Harmon mute. This is called a Harmon mute. And that's called a mouthpiece. <laughs> you should never turn your horn upside down with a mouthpiece falls over. <laughs> and the moment that I played a note on the Harmon mute, and I put the echo machine back on. Yeah, that is my And that harmony became synonymous with Miles Davis for all a lot of us. But what it did was it brought unity to what we were doing because most of the kids there are African American. And here I was, this little old white guy from the, the city, trying to do something for them. And I'd get this groove going, and then I hit that harmony mute, and they go, "Well, that's Miles Davis." So we get this going, and they go. Hey, Mr. Ross, you put some of them Miles Davis licks in. I said, okay, I'll try. Remember, but I, we'll call him Mike today. He was a really nice kid. In for a terrible crime. Can you hear me over the music? Okay. And he was one of those kids, I gave him like the bass guitar, and he was one of those kids that could do all that like boink and stuff, you know? You know what I'm talking about? See if I can get this thing to do that. You've heard people do that kind of boinky, boinky stuff? <laughs> so no matter what song we were playing, he could always find something that would fit in there. And he'd always manage to hit a note that nobody else was hitting. And it would just sound the coolest thing. It was like so funky. So, so we'll see if we can get Mike in here.
there's the wonders of technology. Sometimes it screws up. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Sometimes it screws up. Okay, well, anyway, I'm not even going to bother going through that again. It messed up, and it messed up, and there's nothing I can do about it. But anyway, other than play the whole song ago, again, the, the thing that I, I really wanted to uh, uh, bring up to you, there was, there was the, the one part that I left out was an awesome part. And I'll see if I can do it without the background, what the heck, you know. You know, we'll see if we can do it. Maybe yeah, I can do it with just the drum beat. I think I can. Anyway, after Mike got in there and he put that like cool little funky thing going on with the, with the uh, bass part, um, this other fellow that I had, his name was Ed. And I, man, I love this kid. He was the quietest kid. And uh, you could hand him a guitar. And he would just pick up the guitar and he would start playing. And it didn't seem to matter what tuning the guitar was in. Because he, he would just pick up the guitar and start playing. And he'd start moving his hands all over the neck until he found notes that he thought fit in with the music that was going on. And it was amazing to me. I remember one day he was playing this most incredible thing. And I said, Mike, show, or, or this, I, his name was Ed. I said, Ed, show me what you just did. And uh, he started showing me and I started trying to copy it. And uh, I noticed that our guitars were out of tune. So I grabbed his guitar and I tuned it up. And then he couldn't play it anymore. <laughs> I had messed him up. I, I messed him up totally. So anyway, his name was Ed and his last name was Hart. And he played with such heart. So we'll, we'll see if we can do a little Ed here. Um, with just the drum beat going on. So Ed would just start, uh, actually with, um, he would just start with, I think I can throw some chords in here for you. So that we can at least hear how this would sound. Let's see if we can get this happening again for us, okay? something to go by so you use your imagination so much. So Ed would come in with one note. Got lost in that that technology bloop there. So sorry, that's the song. <laughs>